Hello friends. So in the previous tutorial, we see how we can handle exception and write test case for a method that can throw a exception. So in this video, we see some more annotations. So let me just delete these methods. So now we have only two method and demo class. So now we have only two methods and the test cases for the methods. So let me write some other method like public So I write a simple method in which we just print a SOP statement before. So I use the annotation. Before. So now this method run before each of the test case. So like. So when I run this output is before first and before second. Look before second and before first. So we have another method similarly as before name is after. So let me just run this. Before, second, after, before, first, after. So before, so before call, then test case, then after, before call, then test case, then after. So similarly, we have a annotation before class. So this before class and after class only call once, but they are our static method. So just change this to static. So now our output is like before class, first, second or second, first, whatever, and then after class. And look before class and then second first and after class so in the before class and after class we can initialize our object so like i just copy this So we initialize our object in before class and then we can again assign to so this way we can run our test cases. These runs are successfully. So before class and after class can be used to initialize our object and they call only once but before and after are run for each test case and also before class methods are static as they are class level methods. So if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and thanks for watching.